Good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean here. Hey, this morning, well, let me start by saying it's February the 5th, okay? The temperature is, right now, uh, 42 degrees. That's quite comfortable for this time of year, and I'm wanting to go fishing. Me and old Elmo, we love the fish, and love it when you come with us. But today, I'm going to be fishing Lake Gunnersville, okay, it's a 69,000 acre impoundment, fish it quite a bit, and I'm going to use live bait today. Now, I had one of y'all, I get a lot of support on this channel, by the way, I want to say it's very humbling, and here's an example of one. I've got a new rig right here, it's a real simple rig. And at the end of the video, I'm going to rig it up for y'all because you may want to use it. It fascinates me. It's something that, that I should have thought of. Been fishing since I was six years old and I hadn't stopped yet. But it's simple. I like how it's rigged. So just go with me and let's see if we can catch some crappie this morning. Come on, boy. Well, here we are at the ramp. And uh, it's lit up a little bit. I'm sure y'all can see a little bit. I'm a little bit early, but I'm going to unbuckle Bessie Lou right here. We're going to put her in. Put us some lights on this boat. Old Bessie's ready. You know, she's ready to fish all the time. And we're going to idle on out towards the bridge. I'm here at South Salty. Uh... Langston, Alabama, and we're going to try this area first, and we may jump, uh, go to a couple more bridges, I'm not quite sure yet, and try this rig out right here. I don't see any stars, so it's going to be an overcast day. Elmer, oh Elmer, Elmer Bethune. Elmer, oh Elmer, he can't catch a fish. He tries to, but he, he can't. Elmer, Elmer, Elmer Buffoon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some lights. Rig them up here on Bessie right here, and we're going to idle out here to the bridge and see what we can do about these crappie. Hey, I don't know if y'all can see that, but see that old tar laying there on the bottom? In there? I wanted to share that with y'all. Oh, my, my, my. First fish of the day. Not a very big one, probably about nine and a half inches long. Let's let him go right here. I hope it's not too early. So y'all can see this, but let's let that fish go. Okay, I'm, today I'm using a, a Garcia Mitchell 308. It's an old vintage reel with a limber rod. This is a Berkeley rod. It's about 20 years old, and I bought it from Walmart. I've caught a lot of crappie on it. Real limber. Now I'm using four-pound test Mr. Crappie line and our rig right here. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to rig this rig. This is a one-gram weight with a peg, a rubber peg, and a size six eagle claw rotating hook. All right, let's rig one of these creek minners up. I caught some minners at the creek. They kind of look like toughies, but they're not. Let's rig one up. Right through the lips. Barely. Just like that. Okay, let's put it back down there. That fish was probably about 10 foot deep is where he bit. So let's 
get her back down there and catch us another one there, Elmo. There's that little peg. The fish is moving off real slow, and there he is. Real light bites this morning. There's the crappie. Come on in here. Come back. Okay, what you got in your mouth there? You got a size six eagle claw rotating hook. They're getting a little bit bigger, but they're biting real light today, folks. Real, real light. I just, I feel a peck, and then, then, then I, just a little bit of pressure. But there he is. So let's let him go back to the depths. There's a bite easing off with it now, I mean. Feels like a lot better fish. Whew. It's a good fish right here. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something, that fish right there hit about eight feet deep. Come here, boy. What's in your mouth right there? It's uh, a good crappie right there, folks. This fish was higher up in the water column. Uh, I've been testing different depths, so I believe the better fish are going to be up shallow, more up in the water column. That's the kind of things you need to do when you're out here fishing for crappie. It's very important. But I'm going to put this one in the bucket. That's a good fish right there. Real thick, girthy. One of about 12, 12 and a half inches probably. Okay. Hey, let's see if we can catch some big ones now. Maybe we found the right depth. Very important. Yep, there's the bat. There's the bat. Mm. there look at there I found the bigger fish what's happened folks there's another and that's a good good fish right there that's a almost a slab all right we'll get that hook out right here what fishing is no doubt a sport second to none there's no doubt about it there we go all right let's put him in the bucket right here and we'll catch another one good fish hey 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 Mm-hmm. Pretty good fish right there. Let's flip him in here. Whew. Having a lot of fun out here, folks. This is something that anybody can get out here and do. It's an easy method to catch crappie. Pretty fish right there. Let's let him go. Watch him. He's gonna go back down in there. Eat a bunch of shad and get bigger. There's the bite. He's just easing off. Whew. It's good fish right here, folks. Look at here, what a crop. That's a good gunner's will slab right here. Come in here. Now that's what we're fishing for right here. That's a quality fish. Thick, girthy. 
Oh my goodness, I found the depth. Found the depth where the better fish are. No doubt. Like bum Elmo, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. All right, let's put this one in the bucket. Let's catch another one. There he goes. I got a good hook set on that fish. Real good hook set. And it's a good fish too. Look here. Golly, bum! I'm catching some big slabs today. Let's get him over here. Wow. Come here, boy. Open your mouth. Quit, quit, quit. You're cold. Love these hooks right here. Right in the top of the mouth. That's a good fish, folks. Golly, Mom, we'll just let this one go. Right here, I tell you what, I am having a ball, and I'm loving this rig right here. And like I said, when we get done in closing, I want to rig this rig up for you. Maybe you want to try it. You know, as fishermen, we learn every day. The more that you're on the water, the more that you learn, you, you can't quit learning. It's a sport. I'm going to say it one more time. Second to none. Let's release this fish. That is a beautiful crappie right there. And there he goes. He's going back home. Let's rig us one of these creek minters up and put, it back, put him back down there again. There's the back. Ooh, we. Feels like a good fish right here. Golly, mom, what a crop. That is a big crappie right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, open your mouth. Look at there. Is that not a beautiful fish, our Elmo? Should have come. No doubt. Golly, bum. Folks, I have had a ball this evening. Let's, let's go ahead and release this fish. That's a good fish. That's about 12 and a half, 13 inch fish right there. My goodness. Let's let him go. Real quickly, th now this is, uh, folks, this is the type of support that I get all the time and i'm going to each and every video i'm going to thank y'all for supporting this channel here's some fishing line that he sent me um here's some small floats right here i'll use them this spring okay when fish go shallow no doubt thank you um and here in here's some different size weights and stuff and i'm going to rig this rig up to you all these weights are in grams 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.8 and then one gram and then 2.5 well i used the one gram today because of the depth of water i was fishing okay and i'll show you how to rig this real quick okay folks this is four pound test mr crappie line that's what i used today Here's the one gram weight, and you notice that this weight is real, real thin. You know, it's not bulky, it's streamlined. I, I love these kind of weights right here. Just slip it on your main line. Like that. Okay. Then get you a peg. These are called pegs, by the way. They're just little rubber-like this little rubber with a little hole in them it's just, they're real soft and you just here's the loop right here you put your main line through the loop it's a wire loop okay like that and then slide the peg off onto your two lines like that and just keep sliding until the tag comes all the way through like that 
Okay. And then uh, on light line, fishing this way with minnows, live bait. Okay. I like to use either a Palomar knot or a Trilene knot because you can get, you know, maximum strength out of your line. Those are the two strongest knots that's ever been made. And um, just tie your hook on. This is a trialing knot, and I don't go but about four or five routes is all. And then cinch the knot up. Like that. Okay, and I always leave about, me personally, about an eighth of an inch tag line because a trialing knot or a palomar doesn't slip. You know, if tied properly. Now, Here's the rig, real simple, one gram weight. And this, you can slide up and down this peg. Excuse me, let me get it back in vision. I have to look through my camera to make sure that you're, you're getting a full view. But you can slide this little peg up and down the line. It won't burn the line because it's a soft rubber. And you can adjust ever how much liter that you want. In other words, from the weight, right here uh, to the hook and a lot of times that's in critical for fishing for cropping uh, especially in different water temperatures a lot of times you want to if it's real real cold have a short leader so so that the minna can't move too much and when, as the water warms I normally go to a longer leader you know you just have to experiment with those things it makes a difference but thank you, iFish, for the support. It humbles me. Uh, it's a great technique. We learn fishing every day. One must be versatile and learn from others. I appreciate y'all watching. Hey, man. Whoa. 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 And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you. We'll see y'all next time. I'm Nick